Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one is all about equivalence proofs and propositional logic. In the open textbook that we use, Delft's Foundations of Computation, we teach you that you can prove equivalence of propositional statements using rewriting. You can just apply equivalence laws and other stuff like that to prove that two new claims or new, two new propositions are also equivalent. In this pencast, we're going to take a different approach, however. We are going to see how we can use truth tables to accomplish the same thing. For our first example, let's take one that you are probably familiar with already. The fact we want to know whether not P or Q is equivalent to P implies Q. Now, in English, we would write that like this, but in logic, we have a different. We use the equivalent symbol, the one you're familiar with, consisting of three lines, and then we put a question mark on top of it, because we're not sure yet whether these two are equivalent. That's the question we are asking. And now what do we do? Well, remember that for two propositions to be equivalent, we need them to be true of the same cases. So for every combination of P and Q, the both, prop both propositions need to have the same value. And we can check that using a truth table. So we create a truth table for not P or Q, and we create one for P implies Q. I'm going to fast forward to all of the creation of truth tables in this video. There is another pencast about it. And if you want, pause the video before I create them so that you can have a bit more practice with creating truth tables. Having created the truth table for these two propositions, however, I see that they are identical. They are true in the same places and they are false in the same places. In other words, the truth table says that these two claims, these two propositions, are indeed equivalent. And we've used a truth table to show this. In this video, we're going to take a look at two more examples. So for the second set of propositions that we're going to compare, we are going to take P implies Q or P, and we ask ourselves the question whether that is equivalent to P if and only if Q or P if and only if not Q. So again, we use a truth table. And again, I'm going to speed up the creation of these truth tables. Similarly to the first set, we again find that although the truth tables are a bit larger, if we take a look at the final column, the one that would normally contain our final answer, we find that these two are indeed the same. And thus again, these two are equivalent. Furthermore, you may have also noticed that both of them are tautologies. As we also explained in the book, all tautologies are equivalent. Similarly, all contradictions are also equivalent. Just a fun fact. Let's take a look at one final example. So, finally, let's consider this third and final set of propositions. Not P or Q, is that equivalent to not P or not Q? Now, if you studied the Morgan well, you know that this isn't the case. It's actually equal to not P and not Q. But let's apply the truth table magic anyway, and let's see what happens. Now, once we have made the truth tables, we see that indeed there is a difference between the two truth tables. And this difference offers us a clear reason to say that they are not equivalent. If you want, you can compare it to finding a counterexample. We found that, for for instance the case p equals 0 and q equals 1, the true formula are not equivalent, because the first is false and the second is true. Okay. Having analyzed three sets of statements, we also come to the end of this pencast. But I'll see you around for another one.